what's up everybody it's vr gamer Dave here and tonight we have been bad that's right we have been punished and sent to detention in space school in the future so i was over on oculus and i was checking out some of the new stuff in the concept section you guys know i love the concept stuff and uh i came across one that I remember quite well from back in the DK2 days that's made its way onto the CV1. So tonight we're going to check out a, uh, a demo called Colonist A514. Now, basically, what really got me with this one back in the day when I played it was is it was one of those rare demos that really got my mind racing as to the possibility of education in VR. You know, I mean, this this is absolutely incredible. I can totally see this as the way that my kids will learn in the future. So I wanted to check it out and see if anything had changed, see if it got polished up a little bit for its uh, debut on CV1. And I wanted to take you guys with me. So let's jump in and let's take a look at Colonist A514. All right, and we are just about to get underway, but when I jumped into the menu, I noticed there was a little backstory. So basically, it's saying that we are a teenager in the middle of a 140-year expedition to recolonize mankind. Uh, we have no experience of Earth, and we are never going to lay eyes on the planet that our children will one day inhabit. It. So basically, it's up to us to just kind of kick back, enjoy this ride, and learn as much as possible so we can pass those teachings down to our kin. The future of us all depends on it. Well, let me tell you, if the future of humanity depends on me learning stuff, we're in deep trouble. So, nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, but anyway... Uh, this one is on rails, so not much more to do than to hit B here, begin the demo, and just kick back and enjoy the ride. So let's go. I think the clock is slow. I don't feel tardy. Oh boy, humanity's depending on me. And I'm not doing too well. Well, like I said, if humanity's dependent on me, we're all screwed. So, okay. Gotta say, love this classroom. I mean, it's very bright. Uh, the, the colors are, are really playing nicely with the, the Rift's lenses here. I'm not getting a lot of God rays. So, nicely done. Okay, so detention is commencing. I have been bad. I have been asked to stay after school for detention. So, you Initial know, data collected I gotta say, and it's, it's a pretty probe. cool classroom setting. And our destination man, planet. love in we this understand hologram. That there is a suitable atmosphere, oceans of water, plentiful I don't know, something about holograms and VR, and it, no it always gets me. information exists on the diversity of life if any, that inhabit the area. The hastening decay of our ecosystems demanded that a colonization mission be implemented before more data could be collected. We quite literally have no idea what we are sending you into. Oh, Yet the well, continuation great. of our species so is you send me in space and you have no idea the chart shown what's going to happen. represents the total time in which Earth has been capable of supporting life in an advanced form. The detached segment conveys the duration of mammals as the dominant life form, and the small circle illustrates the time in which mankind has evolved and ultimately destroyed this environment. Wow. The remaining okay, that, large area just displays disturbing. the reign of reptiles, giant lizards that ruled the planet unchallenged. Okay. So reptiles, all of mammals, all little circle, on mankind, and how quickly we screwed everything up. Okay, I'm digging this. Four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a small fiery planet circling a newly created sun, accumulating central mass from leftover debris in its solar path. A very different place than the one your parents called home. Constantly bombarded during this period, a major collision with a smaller planet would send a fragment of Earth into near orbit to later become our moon. 
Over the next billion years, the core Man, would gradually harden and really, meteorite really impacts cool. would bring much needed water for the outer surface One to some cool. Of those is my desktop the water background. that you've been sipping in your drink bottle is the same water that was delivered during this time. Oh, that's it interesting. would take another two billion years before an atmosphere thick enough to sustain cyanobacteria could form and the final ingredient necessary for life, oxygen, could be produced. All life forms are built from the same six elemental ingredients. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. With these elements in abundance the earth was finally ready for the dawn of the dinosaurs. Okay, I, I just gotta say it. You know, as I said in the intro, the in this gets the mind racing the as to how cool eras, education is going to be, and not too far from now. Ago. I mean, this is the These way that my kids are going to learn, man. This blows me away. If I would have had the ability to learn like this when I was in school, I probably would have done a heck of a lot better than I actually schools, did. Another rises that is uh, this, this is just amazing. new ecosystem. A valuable lesson that history has taught us repeatedly, is that species domination is directly linked to its environmental impact. 65 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, a large meteorite impacted with the Earth causing the mass extinction of 70% of the Earth's population. All dinosaurs, and the vast majority of above land creatures, were instantly eradicated, ushering in the beginnings of mammal, and eventually it's like I, I want to reach out and touch all the little tabs the and stuff and just make this interactive. That would be era. so, so freaking let's awesome. Take a closer look at a very so, different developer, turn. touch is coming. That would be really cool. Take this off of rails and make it something where I can actually punch these buttons and find information. That would be fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, wow, this is really good. Barren. Desolate. Lifeless. No birds fill the skies, nor fish the seas. The Cambrian Earth is totally void of all animals, trees, grasses and insects. No life, not even bacteria, can be found in this upside-down world. This is nature's empty canvas, onto which will be painted That's all life awesome. in due time. But for now, this is what a beginning looks like. Five hundred and seventy million years ago, all land was concentrated at the bottom of the planet, south of the equator, and divided between the largest continent, Gondwana, and three subcontinents. Laurentia, Siberia, and Baltica. Modern day, India, Africa, and Australia were all centered at the southern tip of the planet, while Antarctica and Alaska enjoyed the most tropical of weather. The majority of the globe was covered with a vast, singular ocean of clean water. Plentiful oxygen, warm temperatures, and shallow marine bays, like this one, will play host to the most intense period of evolutionary advancement in all history, known as the Cambrian life explosion. The diversification happening here today will have consequences Love in the that echo ocean sound all time. in the background. Over I mean, the this is just relaxing. Minutes, let's lay witness this to the birth great. of every species chain and watch as this explosive growth overflows onto the land. But before we can walk in the footsteps of dinosaurs, we need to find a deeper pool and get a little wet. No, okay. Sweet, let's do that. Yeah, I just, I, I really like these on rails education experiences. This looks this like is a favorable great. spot. You might want to hang on to something. Whoa! Nice. Okay, so now my desk is a submarine. Sweet. Primitive forms of single and multicellular green algae that started thriving here, grouped together into resource-rich columns that mirror the appearance of modern-day seaweeds. Amongst them are scattered a small range of sponges. Plant-like in appearance, sponges are actually one of the simplest of multicellular organisms. 
nutrients and oxygen in the water are filtered internally and exhausted as carbon dioxide. The most prolific species found in the Cambrian Oceans are trilobites, small segmented arthropods that possess hardened exoskeletons. These will become the genetic predecessor to all lobsters, crabs, and insects. Let's see if we can find some. Oh yeah, let's do that. Uh, hey, what's up, robot All dude? detainees are required to observe compulsory attention deficit breaks. Your session will continue after a short five-minute recess. Sweet, I get to go to recess. Awesome. Awesome! Uh, no. No, it's not awesome. Um, the, the robot said it was going to be 45 minutes. I, I wanted to learn about trilobites and stuff. Oh, well, it is concepts. So, man, wow, that was really, I mean, like I said, I've done this before. I did it a year ago on the DK2, but I don't remember it being that cool. Uh, so, yeah, gets the mind racing. Really, really gets my mind racing as to the potential for educational experiences in VR. Uh, so, man, that is really cool. So, Andy? You hope people enjoyed this? Man, I gotta tell you, I enjoyed it. And thank you for making it. Uh, but please, finish it. I, I really want to see the rest of this. And being in concepts, I'm sure it's still being worked on. But man, really cool. So, alright, I'm gonna quit babbling now. But uh, thank you guys very much, as always, for watching to the end of the video. You know I love it when you do that. If this was your first time coming to the channel today, thank you so much for coming in and checking out what I do here on my channel. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page and hit up my videos. You know, I've got some Oculus Rift, some Gear VR, a couple of HTC Vive titles in there. And, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you want more great VR content, hit up my sidebar. See what the rest of the VR spies are doing. It's a great group of guys that I always tell you guys that I am blessed to be a part of. And we're all out here really working every day to bring you the best in virtual reality on YouTube. If you want to interact with us, head over to VRSpies.com. We started a little forum over there, so, you know, got a couple of hundred people over there talking to us every day, and I'd love to make you one of those people as well. And, of course, if this was not your first time coming in, if you're already a subscriber on the channel, guys, I, I do it every video, but thank you so much for everything that you're doing to help me grow this channel. We are so close to hitting 3,100 subscribers, and I couldn't have done that without each and every one of your help. So keep doing what you do. Like it, tweet it, share it. Let me know how it is in the comments, you know. Let's keep this dialogue going. But for me tonight, that is going to do it. It's late. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.